Hi there guys, this is Ross from um, Back to Roots. Just a, a, a quick uh, update on the, uh, the aquaponics um, system. It's, um, it's now coming up for mid-May. Um, I think it's... I think it's the 16th today. Um, and uh, 16th of May. And uh, just, just looking at these uh, strawberries see the size of those just to give you an indication of how big that strawberry is that's about ping pong ball size um, and that's that's mid-may the, these ones aren't supposed to be ready until uh, sort of mid mid June sort of July time um, and you can see we've got uh, quite a few in here these these ones here I put a little bit of straw underneath them um, just because we're getting a little bit of a um, little bit of spotting underneath so I put a little bit of straw underneath that one see what that does um, and uh, you see the sort of size of these ones are coming out they're already starting to, to redden Pretty much every plant in here now. We've got about 80, 80 odd plants, strawberry plants, and they're they're all flowering. Even the even the lates, which is supposed to be sort of a crop that's due September, so we'll probably get them a month early, maybe starting August, maybe uh, uh, um, to to actually eat. Um, just uh, um, I've made up some some uh, compost tea. Um, this is basically it's it's uh, one part um, one part compost tea and um, another nine parts um, fish water. So it's got a lot of nitrogen in it. Um, and uh, all I do basically is I just spray that directly on the leaves. Um, and what that does that that builds up a film. Which is like a, an anti, um, sort of like an insecticide sort of thing, and that really, really um, helps them fight all the green fly. Um, yesterday, this whole area was just full of green fly, and I've just sprayed it yesterday afternoon. Come out there this morning, and there's no green fly at all. Um, in here, um, this is the fish food that's on top. The fish are doing incredibly well. Still very, very shy, um, but uh, I've been assured that that's absolutely fine. Um, I've got an air block um, in there, a twin air block, which is uh, running the system on both ends. Um, and I also I want to show you the, the the effect of the when 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 the water is drained out of the um, uh, the, the, the fish tank once every two months, we uh, clean clean this, this this pump out the um, um, uh, cleaning the swell the swell filter out. When I clean that out, I then put that into these big um, 25 litre containers, and um, I then I then leave that to mature for a little bit, and then I put it put it on on the beds. And if you just see the size of that, that's that's spinach, and that's um, that spinach is about one and a half feet tall. Um, broccoli is going absolutely mad, um, and this is a, a, um, an apple apple tree that last year I, I, I dug up um, from a client's house because it had been dead for three years, apparently. But this is this is uh, this is the effect of uh, of, of fish water and uh, worm compost, worm tea. So that's pretty amazing. A um, couple of little other apple trees over there as well. So yeah, that just shows the uh, the effect that that, that nitrate um, has on it. Um, I'm also getting a um, I'm going to be getting a uh, like a powdered fungus um, stuff as well. Um, and I'm going to be putting that in. That that, that um, increases the 
the nitrate uptake of the root systems of the plants as well. So when I've got that on order, when that comes in, um, we'll do an experiment with that and um, and uh, um, you see, I think it's called mito 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 coral, I think. Um, but uh, when that comes in, I'll show you what that does as well. Okay. Um, speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.